Hello guys, welcome back, and today I'm going to be talking about the Boston Bruins and why I was so wrong about them. Now, the Boston Bruins have been an amazing NHL team this season, but I made predictions for them before the season started. So how badly do they hold up? Watch till the end to find out. Now, the Boston Bruins have been a great and interesting team to watch throughout this season, as they've been one of the best teams throughout the league, now currently standing at 93 points, and since we still have a month left in the season, that is very impressive. Now, the Boston Bruins have nicely played 69 games so far this season, and with how many injuries and how many battles of adversity they've had this season, they've still been a fantastic hockey team, currently being the second place team across the entire NHL. And while the Bruins have been amazing, before the NHL season started, I made predictions on every single NHL team and where they would place in the standings, and let's just say for the Boston Bruins, it did not age too well. At number four, I have the Boston Bruins with 94 points, a point above the Buffalo Sabres, but the difference is Boston will make the playoffs, in my opinion. They'll be the worst team to make the playoffs, but they'll still scrape in pretty much this year's Colorado Avalanche, where it could come to the last day where they make the playoffs. While this team is solid, I don't have too much hope that they'll continue what they had last season. They got 112 points, were a fantastic team, but I don't know if I see that continuing this next season. Still making the playoffs, but I do see them having a little bit of more weaknesses, especially on that defense. Char will likely age a little bit more. I don't know if Charlie McAvoy will be as good. There are some question marks of the team. Will Tuka Rask be able to continue that? And I really, on the goaltending side of things, I have zero faith in Yaroslav Halak to do anything worth. Again, I still see the Boston Bruins as a very solid team, a playoff team, but not quite as good as they were last season. Oh my gosh. Oh, well, those predictions were not the worst thing in the world. At least I predicted them to make the playoffs, I guess. While I predicted them to make the playoffs, pretty much everything else was almost completely wrong or pretty well close to it. And with the Boston Bruins heading into that season, they had that terrific season beforehand. They got to the second round versus Tampa. I thought personally they were going to go back a little bit and take a step back, but obviously so far this season, they haven't. And you know, Yaroslav Halak, the goalie I said I had no faith in, has played 34 games of the Boston Bruins and has a 924 save percentage. I don't know what I was thinking then, but obviously the Boston Bruins made the right choice of Yaroslav Halak, and my predictions were not even close whatsoever. And with Tuchel Rask, I only predicted him to do solid. I only predicted him to have a decent save percentage. But when it comes to today's NHL where there's so many more goals scored, a 921 save percentage is absolutely amazing. And Tuka Rask, especially in the last couple of months, has been one of the main reasons why Boston has been so good. He was kind of starting out slow in the season, but since 2019, he's just been an absolute beast alongside of Yaroslav Alak. And when Yaroslav Halak was brought into the Boston Bruins, I was kind of skeptical because I was seeing a lot of New York Islanders games that season when they were terrible. They were a fun team to watch, but when it came to the goaltending, it was absolutely dreadful. Grice had a terrible year, Halak seemed to be even worse somehow, and the Boston Bruins getting him as a backup seemed like an, a decent attempt, but I didn't think it was going to work out whatsoever. But Halak came into the Boston Bruins system, the defense around him has played great, and he's done his job perfectly, getting a 924 save percentage which is all you could ask from him. And the take that might even be worse than my goaltending take was on the defense. I said the defense would slip by quite a bit, but it honestly has had the reverse effect. When it comes to goals allowed, the Boston Bruins are currently the second best in the entire NHL behind the New York Islanders in the least goals allowed. So they've been defensively sound. They've been fantastic defensively as an entire group. And I said guys like Charo will regress, and honestly, that hasn't been the case. And when we look towards some of their defense, a lot of those guys have improved defensively. Guys like Charo, are still great. Brandon Carlo is a great defensive guy. McAvoy is still very solid. Krug, amazing offensively and has improved defensively. Guys like Kevin Miller are solid. Guys like Matt Grizzlick are super underrated. And while that defense core on paper should be nowhere near second overall in goals allowed, they're going together as a defensive group and they're obviously buying into Bruce Cassidy's system. 
And when we look towards that offense, it's been super interesting throughout this whole season because they have battled so many injuries on that four group. And a lot of younger guys have play, come up and played well, but a lot of guys have gotten those chances to play. And barely anybody has been healthy throughout this whole season. The only player on this Boston Bruins team who has played every single game for the team has been David Krejci. He is it. He is the only player who has played 69 games. The rest of the team has missed a couple of games here or there, missed a couple of weeks, a couple of months, or whatever it might be. The team has been completely unhealthy throughout pretty much the whole season, and now they're starting to finally get their health back right in time for the playoffs. When we look towards the points in the four group there, it's just absolutely astounding how good they have been. Marshan is still looking like one, maybe even an MVP candidate right now. David Pasternak is looking lethal, as he always does. Bergeron still looking amazing offensively as a 33-year-old. Krejci coming back to form, getting 60 points right now. Crew being an assist machine right now. DeBrusque being absolutely amazing. Heinen having a solid season. When it comes to the offense, while there isn't a ton of guys, they don't have the best depth offense. Those top guys are getting it done and getting those clutch goals, which right now is pretty much all they need. And right now, Boston is playing so good that they're currently at 93 points, just one point below my predictions for the entire season, and they still have 13 games to go right now. So they are going to get past that, obviously. They're going to get past 100 points. They're going to be a very solid team and have a pretty solid seed for the playoffs. And while Tampa is still the number one team right now, the Boston Bruins certainly have a case to be one of the cup favorites. Now, despite the Pets loss to the Pittsburgh Penguins, the Boston Bruins were on a 19-game point streak, which was just absolutely insane. I think they hadn't lost a regulation since the start of 2019, which was just absolutely crazy. But the Boston Bruins were on some kind of special run where they weren't winning every game, but they were able to get points. And they were able to get clutch goals, which was super crucial for them getting points in the standings, hopping over teams like the Toronto Maple Leafs. It was huge for them. Some of the guys like Marshan were just on absolute terror. To Grask finally found himself and is playing amazingly. And when it comes to the team in general, they've gotten a little bit more healthy, but they're still playing as a team, which even with some guys still injured is super, super important. But that's something I obviously did not predict. If they were going to get some injuries to David Pasternak, Patrice Bergeron, I thought that would have been it for them. When Mar when Pasternak was injured, I thought the Boston Bruins might maybe fall off a cliff. But the Boston Bruins continued to get clutch goals, continued to get the goals and the points when they needed them, continued to play solid defensively. And when guys were injured, Tugarask was becoming a god in his own right, and the goaltending was stepping up to levels that we hadn't seen before. And when it came to the Boston Bruins, it seemed like one time they would get an adversity and then they would challenge it and face it and compete with it and when it comes to the Boston Bruins they've had that ferocious style throughout this season of having problems but fixing them almost instantly. And for me personally, when I'm looking at this Boston Bruins team, that's what makes them so, so scary for this playoffs. They have something that I don't think they had last year, which is the adversity. They had that adversity this season throughout the whole thing. When Tuka Rask was not playing well, guys like Halak were playing amazing and filling in their roles. When guys like Pasnak were injured, Brad Marchand took upon it himself and just carried the team in that stretch. When the team faces those challenges, they are going to solve them. And that's something in the playoffs that you obviously have to do in a short term, but the Boston Bruins already have that nailed and locked down in the regular season, which will totally help them for not just round one, but the rounds to come. And while Tampa is obviously the best team in the league right now, they're looking almost unstoppable. If I were to peg one team to beat the Tampa Bay Lightning, I would say the Boston Bruins right now. Although the Tampa Bay Lightning won against them in the last year's playoffs, the Boston Bruins are hungry for the Tampa Bay Lightning. And if there's any team that can stop them, I think it's the Boston Bruins right now. Again, it comes back to those challenges and how the Boston Bruins face them. It's a lot to do with the coaching system and Bruce Cassidy in not going and failing with these challenges, but being able to overcome them throughout the team and being able to solve them almost instantly. And that's something that against the Tampa Bay Lightning that you're going to need to do when you get injuries in the playoffs. You're going to have to find guys to fill those spots in. And the Boston Bruins have been doing that for practically the whole season. But again, going back to my prediction, I predict them to have 94 points on the season, but the Boston Bruins this season have been a completely different team than what I expected them to be. The ferociousness on their team, you could see it almost every single night, how how much drive they have to compete with the best teams in 
not make, just make the playoffs, but to get far in the playoffs. And you can see that determination to be one of the best teams in the NHL and, of course, win the Stanley Cup. And that's something that I didn't expect from them this season. I expected them to draw back quite a bit. I almost predicted a 20-point loss on their season compared to the years. And that's something that I expected to happen. But with the Boston Bruins, they practically swung that prediction out of the park and it completely made it wrong. And again, while Tampa is looking like the team to beat, the Boston Bruins are one of the few teams that I personally think can get rid of a team like the Lightning, can battle with them, and win a series against them. And that is a great compliment for the Boston Bruins, and just shows how complete of a team they actually are. But the Boston Bruins are looking like a special kind of team, a team that might win a cup this season. And the ferociousness, the consistency, and the ability to adapt is what's making them look so scary when it comes to the playoffs and for teams facing them. And they're looking to be one of the top contenders for a Stanley Cup. And for that, I can officially say that I was wrong about the Boston Bruins. But of course, with this video, I want to hear your guys' thoughts down in the comments down below. So let me know what do you think about the Boston Bruins this season? What do you think about my terrible predictions about them heading into the season? And of course, let me know what your predictions were for them. Did you see them making the playoffs or missing? And did you see them being this good? But if you guys want some more grab videos just like this one, you can click on this card right here to watch my video about just Spirit Cockney and why I was so wrong about him. But that is going for today, guys. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you haven't already. Again, comment down below your thoughts on the Boston Bruins and what your predictions were for them heading into the season. And I'll see you guys in the next video or stream. Goodbye.